In this edition of Gems of the Archives, we would like to share with you the first long playing album ever made by a Kitishan band. It was found on eBay in 2009 and acquired thanks to a donation by a researcher. However, it is not the best version of the LP. We were first told about this album by Rastambuo Kitwano, who was a member of the Silver Rhythm Combo. And today, we also share a part of an interview he did with us that year. Um, Silver Rhythms were the first to bring out a, a record, weren't Yes, they? yes, yes. What was that like? Um, were you well, part was, of them then? It, uh, were you uh, part of them then? Yeah, yeah, I was a drummer. Okay. I was a drummer. What was it like? Well, it was exciting. Because the reason for that is that we used to listen to everybody from around the Caribbean and the world records, and we didn't have one. And it was a time, it was a very special time. I could remember Dwyer Astafan. He was the man who said, because he used to play in the band for a while too. He played saxophone. He also played conga drums for a while. He was a very talented musician. and. He was going off to Canada to study and the band leader was leaving the group to go to live in St. Thomas. He had just gotten his green card and Dwyer said, he called me Fitzy. He said, Fitzy, boy, you're a good drummer, you know, and one day there's nobody going to hear nothing about you. It would be good if we could make a record and Blues going, which is the band leader, have something done for him special. So, we had to play for a lot of dances. In that time, dance was a dollar, a dollar fifty. So you know how much dollar fifties we had to play for to get, <laughs> to get tickets for 11 guys to go to Jamaica. And we traveled by boat, the federal boat, one of the federal boat, the federal maple. And we went to Jamaica. It took us two days to get to Jamaica. But we were excited, none of us have ever been to Jamaica, so that again in itself was like we were going on a vacation. And we got to Jamaica and we recorded at Byronly Studio. We had the studio for 10 hours, 10 hours to make a long playing album. So we had to work very hard, we had to work very hard. But the end result of that record is that in playing, practicing, and playing, recording. The engineer, Carl Peterson, I'll never forget him, a Jamaican by the name of Carl Peterson. He's in Miami now, last thing I heard, recording still. And we played a song by the name of Lala, mm -hmm. Means I Love You, a song that the Jackson Five did. And we used four guys, four people to play that song. It was Bruce Skerriton, the keyboards, blues on lead guitar, the Bing Charles on the bass guitar, and myself on the drums. And when we finished playing the song, the engineer said, by one they're going to like this, you know. By one you use a whole army to play this song, and now you use four people, by one they're going to like it. Because by one he was in Canada at the time. And I'll never forget, it took us over a year to get a record and it was selling in Jamaica with no name on it, no label on it. Selling in Jamaica, but Kitishans was going to the university in Jamaica, recognize it because they knew the songs that we played and they told us. So we had to take the, the master tapes from Byronly and give them to another studio to master and press and everything. But by the time we got the record, it was too late. You know, I mean, there were some diehards who wanted to have a copy, but it didn't sell as much as it should have. So, so Kitishans loved it? Yeah, yeah. But they didn't buy it? They didn't buy it because it was a year old. Okay. It was a year old, but like I said, some did buy it. Right. It was a year old. Rastambo Kitwano was a musician, vocalist, and host of the popular cultural radio television program Under the Banyan Tree. He passed away in January 2013. He is remembered fondly.
That's it for this edition of Gems of the Archives on Earth in History. La, la, la. Stay up to date with news, programs, and activities of the government with SKNIS. Like us on Facebook. Listen to us on SoundCloud. Follow us on Twitter. And watch our videos on YouTube. Connect with us today. SKNIS, St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service.